What's going on, YouTube? Chevy brother, back in the building. Yeah, I'm just sitting here in the lab. Uh, decided to kick the camera on. Uh, got the stampede here on the table. Um, trying to do a couple upgrades to it. Uh, if you guys seen my previous video, uh, I've been having a couple problems with uh, breaking these stock plastic axles right here. You know, breaking the U joints and everything else. So what I did, I went on eBay and. Uh, ordered these metal axles here right uh these are made in china i paid like 18 bucks for them ordered these bad boys got them in they fit the truck just fine okay now if you look at it you have to use your traxxas grub screws here because the grub screws they give you is like straight garbage but the traxxas ones these dry shafts are actually threaded on both sides so you can put that grub screw in and thread it all the way through. If you look at mine, when I turn it, this bad boy goes all the way through. Okay, cool. <clears throat> now, the problem that I'm having here is I run MIP hub adapters. Okay, if you see that there, the thread on these axles are different. So the MIP does not thread on here at all. <coughs> Excuse me. It doesn't thread on here at all. Um... I have a Traxxas axle here. I had it. I can't find it. But anyway, um, the Traxxas thread on the end of the axle is different than these axles here. What I'm trying to do is figure out what the heck is this thread. Um, I have a nut that came, a lock nut, excuse me, a lock nut that came with this. Uh, I think you can run 12 millimeter wheels with these axles. But I'm trying to figure out a way, how can I run uh, these MIPs with these axles? Can I get some different uh, hub adapters or what would I have to do in order to run these metal axles? Now, I figure for the 18 bucks, these things are built pretty good. I mean, check them out. I got one here. Uh, this is a rear one here. Uh, yeah, this is a rear one. But uh, yeah, they telescope. You know, they're pretty decent. We're going to slap them on here with the 1512 and uh, really rock out with the socks out once I can figure out, you know, how to get these hub adapters to work so I can put my wheels on here. Also, too, I want to share you with you guys. I finally picked up a new radio. Check them out, man. I got a TQI. Uh, I got this in about a week ago. Um, I haven't ran a truck yet with this new radio. Um, I I'm just trying to get everything fixed up so we can do a full pull down the street because I had a really crappy TQI or a TQ over there and the antenna was broke on it. So I couldn't really send this truck down the street. So it's been like that for almost two years. So I'm really tickled pink to drive this thing and be able to really drive it like it's supposed to be driven and not lose range of my tr truck and it crashes or something. Uh, but yeah, if you guys can help me out figuring, you know, what kind of hub adapters I could use, that'd be greatly appreciated. Uh, you can smack them in the comments below or either hit my email, Chevy Brother, that's C-H-E-V-Y-B-R-O-T-H-A at gmail.com. That's it for now. Rate, comment, subscribe, give me a thumbs up, and as always, keep RCing, keep wrenching. Peace.